the returns on the Chinese IPOs that have come out in the last year, latest 12 months, have been strong, stronger than the overall U.S. IPO market. Uh, for example, the average IPO since uh, a year ago from China is up 50 percent. And the average IPO in, of all IPOs is up 25, so twice the return. It's not just the returns that are luring investors. With a population of 1.3 billion people and rapid urbanization, U.S. investors are eager to tap into China's massive economy. According to iResearch Consulting Group, 50% of China's population is online, and that number is growing. U.S. investors are really interested in finding a way to own and participate in the growth in China. I think it's important also to mention that the um, Chinese companies are somewhat protected by, um, at least U.S. companies have a, dis have a disadvantage to operating in China. So U.S. investors, in order to get the China opportunity, have to own Chinese companies. Xiaopin is just one of many Chinese companies attracted to the higher valuations they get in the U.S. capital markets. China is the third largest country by the number of firms listed here at the New York Stock Exchange. And by the look of things around here, it seems they're going to remain in the top three.